Hi everyone, Adam here. Today I'm going to be talking about an open source project called Dive. First of all though, I need to give a massive thank you to Michael Friedrich, aka DNS Mickey, who actually posted about this project on Mastodon, and obviously I followed the links and liked what I saw, and here we are. So thank you very much, uh, Michael. So anyone who works or has an interest in DevOps or CICD or security will find this video and this project useful. Dive is a project to uh, audit or look at Docker images or, or OCI container images in general and basically tell you where you could save space, what you could remove from them and so on. So when you build a Docker image, you want that image to be as small and nimble as possible for a couple of reasons. The first being that the smaller the image is, of course, the less storage space and therefore cost it takes up. The second is, of course, your users will download that image and a quicker download and a quicker startup is a happier user. But the third reason, the kind of security reason, a bloated Docker image sometimes suggests there are things in that image that maybe don't have to be. And of course, everything that's in the image that doesn't have to be actually increases the attack surface of that container. So the more unnecessary stuff that you can strip out of that container, the more secure all other things being equal, the more secure that container will actually be. So that's exactly what Dive does. You point Dive at a container image and it will tell you where the space is being used, where you could potentially save space, what you could remove from those layers, and it does it layer by layer. The other thing I like about the Dive tool is that you can run it in CI mode. And in that mode, it's headless and you can provide it with thresholds. Basically, if those thresholds are not met when you interrogate your container, the build or, or the, the process will be set to a failure. So what that means is you can build Dive into a CI platform, and if your containers start getting too big, you stop the build, stop your process. So as always, I have taken Dive, I have wrapped it into an in-browser online version that you can play with. Links are, as always, below in the video description. Thank you once again to DNS Mickey for putting me onto this project. I really hope you like Dive. It's one of those tools for me that you don't necessarily know that you need, but as soon as you have it, you can't imagine life without it. It does what it does and it does it very, very well. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoy Dive and I'll see you next time.